Who's that? You must be new. That is Bruce Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Clark Kent, Daily Planet. What's your position on the Bat Vigilante in Gotham? So, first of all, congratulations on the movie. Loved it. Thank you. Um, the movie gave me goosebumps last night for all the good reasons. So I would like to know, when you were on set, what was like that one moment for you that that you got goosebumps? I think, you know, it's hard because it's, it's so seven months of shooting and so it was all broken up and you know, it was hard to have that one moment of, you know, elation. Right. But there was definitely a day when we did a photo shoot when Henry showed up for the first time and with Gal and, and I and we were all in our costumes and I thought like, it didn't look ridiculous, you know what I mean? It seemed like kind of good, you know? And so I thought like maybe this this could work. Uh, yeah. And that and gave me kind of chills like, wow, I'm in, I'm, this is really cool. And uh, my son was there that day actually, and he was, he was so awestruck. He was like, is that the real Superman? And uh, <laughs> and so I thought it like gave me, you know, it was reminded me of the impression that these movies make, you know, on audiences and how powerful they are and how exciting it was. So that yeah. was that was a big day. So your son, he's like Team Batman, right? I would say, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I hope I so come too. Come on, him my team. I'm in trouble. I'm always, uh, in trouble. Uh, so how did your kids react when you told them that you were going to be in this movie? I think they, they didn't really react so much to the idea of the abstract of going to be in a movie. Is not they don't tune into, but when you show them like the trailer and the toys and that stuff, then they they're like think it's super cool. Yeah. yeah. And so they get to go on set. Can you talk a little bit about that, how that is for them? Now he, my son wanted to go and get in the Batmobile right away. That's what he wanted to do and get in it. And the thing about the Batmobile is that it's really loud. Like you have to wear earplugs in because it's like a racing engine and it's right behind the cockpit, you know? So yeah. you start, it's like, you know, it, it can really. So I, I didn't want, he wanted to start it and I was like, it's going to be loud. I didn't want him to cry or whatever, but he was, uh, he was brave and he was he was cool with it. He loved it. He got in the Batmobile and the whole thing. He was uh, yeah yeah he did it. And you know it's interesting. You know you play a superhero, but I, I really think that the real superheroes they they're at home. So I would like to know how can you talk a little bit about being a superhero at home? Well, I think that uh, that's true. There are all kinds of heroes, obviously. You mm -hmm. know, um, and and uh, I don't certainly don't count myself among them. You have you know, folks who serve in the military. Uh, first responders, you know, people who work, there's so many people who, whose regular job it is just to, to, to do heroic things, to sacrifice themselves yeah. uh, and their time for to help others. Um, and, you know, doctors and nurses and, you know, especially who care for children are, I, I think of as real heroes. Um, you know, I think my wife is a, a, a heroic uh, caretaker of, of children. She's great. Mm -hmm. She's a great mom and I'm a huge admirer of hers. and. Uh, you know, and we're a good team, I think, and um, you know, so there's, there's, you're right, there's everyday heroics, and there, yeah. there are jumping off building, make believe heroics, which are my specialty. Yeah, uh, I also would like to know how, how far would you go to protect your loved ones in real life? Oh, oh God, you know, I'd like to think I'd, there's no, you know, I mean, one thing you happens when you have children is that you realize that this the thing that you care about more than yourself is outside your body, you know, mm -hmm. and. So you feel like you'd do anything, you know, to yeah. to to protect your your kids. Um, it's, it, you don't even want to fantasize about all kinds of you know terrible things that there are out there in the world because if you get to thinking about them, it can be you know you can go crazy. But uh, you know, um, I, I'd like to think that like any parent, you know, have those you know, those instincts. You have a big scratch on your arm. What happened? I know. I was with my son and we were um, just playing in the yard and I got scratched in the. Bushes. Batman got injured. Yeah, Batman got injured. <laughs>